Hello everyone! Today we are highlighting another poster presentation from the ACL in Bangkok. It's about the paper I am a strange dataset with tricky tests for LLMs involving self-referential sentences. Let's see from the first author of this paper what the dataset contains, how good or bad LLMs are on it and possible explanations for their performance. Hi, I'm Tristan, and I'm here to talk about uh, a, pa a bit of a passion project of mine and some colleagues. Uh, it's called I Am A Strange Dataset, Metalinguistic Test for Language Models. And uh, if you're familiar with Douglas Hofstadter's uh, book called I Am A Strange Loop, it's kind of a play on that. Uh, so in his book, Douglas Hofstadter uh, has a bunch of interesting uh, self-referential sentence, sentence examples. Uh, examples like this sentence has five words. Um, and I wanted to see if language models have trouble understanding self-referential language or if they're actually pretty good at it. Um, you also might be familiar if you're on Twitter with the fact that language models are really bad at knowing how many R's there are in strawberry. So yeah, this data set is full of uh, self-referential language examples like that. And I can give you a specific example of a few different examples in the, in the data set. Uh, so each ex example in the data set is composed of two minimal pairs. So we can, we can look at this minimal pair, for example. Uh, this says this sentence looks like a letter and it is a capital E versus this sentence looks like a letter and it is a capital F. So the task of the language model is to, is to uh, prefer, is to basically say this one is true because it does look like a capital E and this one is false. It, it doesn't look like a capital F, it looks like a capital E. Um, and importantly, um, each of these, I think if you're not really thinking about it, uh, is equally plausible. So like, this sentence looks like a letter and it is a capital E. If you uh, take this part away, it looks like a capital F, not a capital E. But then when you, when you add the continuation, uh, the truth value changes. So if the language model is just looking at this part, uh, then it should say this is true. Uh, but it's not, it's looking at the whole thing. So it should say that, it's, uh, that this one's true and this one is false. Um, and there are a bunch of other interesting examples, uh, like, um, like kind of self-referential code like theoretically this function recurses infinitely versus theoretically this function stops eventually. Um, but yeah, it turns out that language models are really, really bad at this task, uh, whereas humans are very good. So we evaluated mechanical Turk workers. They actually score, uh, just given the same prompts that we give the language model, uh, they score about 90% at this task, whereas language models, even GPT-4 scores about chance level, maybe a little bit better than chance. Um, and a, a natural question is why. Uh, and overall, I'm not really sure why language models are bad at this. Um, maybe there's something special about self-referential statements. Um, maybe it's, uh, it's more of an issue of the representation that uh, the tokenizer is providing to the language model. So for example, if you look down here, uh, there's a sentence that says this sentence has five words, but actually it could be six tokens. So for a human, we, we see words, but a language model, um, it, it might not, not actually be clear to it at all what a word even is because it only sees tokens. So yeah, the tokenizer could be an issue. It could also be an issue of scale. So this is like a scaling curve. So we do see that even though all of the language models we evaluated are close to chance, there is like higher performance just slightly with scale, but it only goes from 53% accuracy to 56% accuracy, which still isn't great. So yeah, very, very unclear. Um, but that basically summarizes where we're at with this, with this poster and thanks for listening. Please check out the paper for yourself, it's a nice read. Thanks for watching and to enjoy your coffee breaks with our next videos, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Okay, bye!